what's up everyone welcome back to my channel so today's i'm literally just gonna be like chit chatting with you guys and also doing my makeup nothing too crazy but i am going out tonight so um i'm just gonna play around with my face and honestly i might redo it as well but for now i'm just gonna be doing my makeup and talking to y'all but i wanted to also also show you guys a couple things that I got in my boxy charms the past few days. I actually have one of them in the bathroom because I used it last night and I opened the September box yesterday. And I don't know if I'm gonna do a specific video on it because I honestly didn't really like everything that came in that box. So for instance, I got this right here, y'all. When I tell y'all, I looked like a Mulan character. You know in the beginning when she's like, it's like a, uh, a tradition that they did in the movie where, you know, they have to show like how they're gonna be like as a wife and like their mannerisms and stuff like that. And then their face has like white makeup. This is how it looked. <laughs> I gotta go on the website and I gotta like change the color of my skin because girl this was like so it was just way too light for my skin and this is a tinted moisturizer by perlice but this is a korean brand and also the the thing in the shower is also like an asian brand i don't know if it was korean per se but this was korean so i was excited because um i uh what's it called i'm just gonna use this for concealer i'm gonna put some more concealer on too but i put a lot all over my face yesterday like for the Boxy charm unboxing video and yeah that thing looked horrible so like i said i did film a video but i don't know if i'm gonna put it because i look crazy but i do hear that korean skincare is really good so yeah but right now i'm putting on some of the this keys um soul care this is a two-in-one concealer and tint and this is by the alicia keys brand if i'm not mistaken so and it's funny because um i got this in my august boxy charm and i've been seeing it on tiktok like people talking about it on tiktok and i always said i am not an alicia key fan no i am not um i do like i don't know there's just something about her and her music i don't know but i do like um like a couple songs but i'm not really a fan but her that concealer low-key has been one of my favorites already but um yeah, I'm just gonna put some concealer on. And today I got my time of the month, y'all. And I'm just like, ugh. I've already, honestly, that's the little venting session that I'm gonna talk about. I've been feeling a little bit weird lately. Because I feel like um, there's just been a lot, I don't know, going on in life. It's nothing crazy, but I feel like in this new chapter in my life, I just want to be more private and it's hard to do that honestly at least for me it's hard to do that for me because i share my life and i've been sharing my life for years so it's like so weird for me to do that um but i'm learning i'm trying to you know i feel like i look so bright and i need like a light in front of me because this little corner here i feel like it's just like dark i feel like i need like a flashlight where's my phone i literally just had it let's see how i would look if i put the flashlight to my face okay that looks a little funny no it just looks weird it looks like an orange color but anyways um yeah yeah so it's just been a little bit weird and then also i don't know i don't know what's in the air when it could be just because my period was coming that i just felt a little like tired i mean i feel like i always i'm always tired but um just blah like no type of like motivation when i came back from dr it's already been like a month but i felt a little bit good i was getting in my routine and then like i say like the past week i've just been like if there was a face expression to explain the way i felt that was it right there um but i'm slowly feeling a little better by the way, now I'm going... Should I put some um, mascara? I mean, not mascara. Eyeshadow? I don't know if I... Did I do a BoxyCharm for August? I don't know if I did, but... I got this iconic um, eyeshadow palette. And these are the colors inside. Maybe I should just put a little bit just to play around on camera. But yeah, so... Today I'm going to go out. I'm going to have some margaritas. 
Give me one margarita. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that. I feel like my face looks bright. Or am I bugging? Like, did I not blend this in correctly? <laughs> I feel like I didn't blend it in correctly, but... But yeah, um, so yeah, I've been drying a lot lately and it's just been bringing me so much like peace. I feel like it's my meditation and I always like um, get back to like not drying, but I feel like I'm going to just slowly incorporate that into my day. Oh, and I'm super excited. Why? I don't know because girl, I be saying I'm going to read and I don't fucking read. I be saying I do, I'm going to do a lot of things and I don't do it, honestly. <sighs> Anyways if you know you know this book i read it first in high school and i think i've read it like three times since then it's so good so i purchased this yesterday or no i purchased this a few days ago and it got here yesterday so i'm really excited so let me go ahead and i'm gonna let me see i don't really be knowing how to do my makeup and i don't know exactly what the hell i'm even gonna wear today y'all if you guys hear the kids in the background y'all already oh this pink lemonade is cute but i never really use pink look at that it's cute but <sighs> i don't know mad loud. i think i'm gonna mix the pink lemonade with cinnamon sugar which is this one right here brother i feel like my phone is ringing here he said what you trying to do and Kalia's like leave me alone get out of my business but yeah oh this is cute this is a cute little color um they so crazy um i hope you can hear that in the background they're like fake fighting and then desmond's like be quiet but um yeah, just having. You know what? I saw a video of some girl that I watch on YouTube. Her name is um, Jillian, and she explained it perfectly for me. Um, she recently, she's been doing this for mad long. I've been watching her for a while, and as far as been doing this for mad long, I mean YouTube. She, I can, I, I'm, I'm not one to us. I don't want to like. So this is me assuming, but I'm a hundred percent sure. <laughs> that she gets paid more than me just because she has a whole bunch of subscribers and she's been sponsored by a lot of companies like i could tell and just by her lifestyle you could just tell but then again you never know but i mean i you can tell um and i know how much i make so like yeah i don't make a lot i don't want to say i don't make a lot i don't make a lot as far as what like youtube is concerned because youtubers like from what i've seen like people that I watch on the daily who have a fan, fan base and stuff like that like they make guap y'all they make like more than a regular job you know like they're making like double digits a month so I haven't got into that point but I know I will one day and I just need to like stop it with this slump like she did a video recently saying that she got like um an outside job and that she's like she feels so good um because of the fact that like she doesn't feel like i guess forced to like share her life and not that i feel forced to share my life but this is my job if i don't vlog i'm not gonna get paid and it's my job like just literally like if anybody who has a nine to five job if they don't go to work you don't get paid for that day you know so same thing goes for me so like for me you know i don't want to say it's hard because this is like a blessing like it's it's a blessing to be home for my kids to like not have to go to a babysitter for them to see me the second they wake up and see me when they go to bed and not have to just spend two hours with me you know like they're with me i have a very flexible schedule i can take like i don't want to say i could take off whenever i want i can but like i said if i don't post a video i don't get money but um so yeah or like my money goes down that's another thing too but um it's a blessing right but then it's like that's where it, it, it like that's the con where i'm like what do i share what do i post and there's so much to post 
but I'm the type of person and like it kind of sucks that I'm like this honestly sometimes is that like I'll have a lot of ideas and then I just don't do it like just like how I said with when it comes to like me and my priorities and stuff like that like when it comes to me like hey have a skincare routine and I want to do that and then I don't end up doing it and like for me my types of videos would be just travel like I would love that like if I could do that y'all just travel and share my experiences and stuff like that that would be so awesome like that's something that I would love to do not only for YouTube but just in general like I've mentioned this before like I just that's just this like one of my goals you know um and you know at the end of the day anytime that I feel this little slump it's my fault and I am acknowledging that like I I'm acknowledging that like I know it's me you know and it's just just like everybody else that's something that I truly need. not like that specific thing but I mean like as far as working on stuff like all of us need to work on certain things that's something that I really need to work on um but yeah so yeah because I'm like as far as my life and stuff it's like so hard to keep things private because you know especially when I, I get excited about certain things or if I'm mad about something or whatever like this is where I not all the time but sometimes this is where I come you know like I just share my life and I share the goods and the bads and um now I'm like trying to practice to like not do that um so yeah like even with my goals I don't even want to share it because what if I don't achieve that goal or like when it comes to like the kids and stuff like certain things I don't want to speak about and there's been especially like recently there's been a lot of like things um with my family that people have been just like they think they're entitled to know certain shit and I'm like bro nah like this is now like that was like just the ter one of the cherries on tops as well to be like nah we're not about to be sharing shit like that anymore um and and whenever there's like certain events i'm just gonna keep them to myself i'll record and just keep certain things to myself you know because not everything should be recorded even if it's a beautiful moment you know and it's just very unfortunate because I just feel like, honestly, and I'm going to keep it a buck, y'all. I love YouTube. Like I said, this is a blessing. There's a lot of people on here who have supported me and they, and y'all are fucking amazing. It just has gotten to a point where I'm like, oh, I need to, I need to stop. That's another thing I need to stop doing is just like getting annoyed by negativity. By the way, this is like a lipstick and a blush. It's a three in one or some shit like that. Three in one stick. I don't even be using blush. I'm just doing it for the camera, y'all, honestly. But yeah, um, and and I, I got to a point, honestly, like, not that long ago where I was like, I'm about to just turn off the comments. Like, it was doing that in DR because whenever I posted a picture um, of the kids on the thumbnail, for some reason, like, YouTube didn't like that. Even now, like, anytime there's a, pers a little kid in the thumbnail, they don't like it. And it wasn't like that. A few months ago so i don't know i guess youtube changed its rules um but yeah i'm like damn should i just turn off my comments but then a lot of y'all like i said you guys are super positive and y'all have been watching for mad long and i love that and it's always those little ones those little comments that i don't like that i'm like it makes me just want to like turn like winter in that book but but yeah, that's just the thoughts that I, I, I've i had like the past couple weeks. But right now I feel good. Not that I, I'm not saying that um, I won't get into a funk again. It's life, y'all. And I feel like that's just the only difference between me and some people is that this is my job, you know. And when I'm in a funk, I don't want to like not let y'all know i'm sure y'all noticed like my friend today she actually sorry if i'm making noise she actually know she we were talking today and she's like oh you've been like kind of mia on social media and that's because i post so much on instagram like my stories i'll be posting every day like any quote or anything that i see that i like i'll post it um whether i relate to it or i feel like somebody watching my stories will relate to i post it but recently i've just been like i've been blah 
I haven't really been wanting to post. I post one here and there. I usually be posting like a bunch throughout the day. And then also like my actual post. That's another thing too. This is me just venting, okay? Like I'm just venting. Also, I'm not trying to be rude, but like I don't want any type of advice. You know, I just I'm just venting to y'all. But um by the way, I have started taking some uh I forgot what it's called, ash wandaga i don't even know how to <laughs> i probably said that horribly um some like pills like daily pills for um like anxiety and stress and stuff like that because i get anxiety ash how do you say this ash wag wag waganda ashwaganda pills and i started taking them yesterday i'll let you guys know how it goes um but yeah uh, i forgot what the hell i was saying oh yeah so like i've also noticed like since i've been back like i just feel i'm gonna i'm gonna compare it to a shirt that i saw on Shein. it says just a let me see i, I got it here on my thing you know how people say like oh she's a ray of sunshine the opposite so i'm like a ray of sunshine when i'm like not hold up i'm gonna show you when i'm like in out of the country or you know when i am honestly like in a city vibe because i just i feel like that's just what i thrive in okay this is me right now just a little ray of pitch black <laughs> i kind of wanted to get that shirt y'all it's really cute um but speaking of clothing i just feel like here I don't really know what to wear it's getting cold then it's hot like right now it's like that crazy weather it's up and down and I just I, I noticed that like my the way that I was like posting my pictures and like um, doing like little reels I haven't done that here like I just don't feel I guess um, just haven't had like that little spark to like want to do it out here which i'm cutting that off today um today's saturday and i'm going out and whatever the hell i'm gonna wear today i'm gonna do a little video so by the time y'all yeah, watch this maybe it'll be up or maybe it'll be up tomorrow but by the way look at my eyelashes but yeah i'm cutting that shit off like bitch you were doing all those videos in dr i actually grew my instagram because of it walmart followed me like girl what what nah bro we gotta cut that shit off cut this little blah wednesday ass feeling off literally like this little pitch black little cloud over me type shit nope it's being cut off and monday we starting back up with the workouts or not workouts but just being active and if i decide to do workouts i'll do it too but um right now that's not my goal damn look at my eyelashes that's crazy i think i did a little bit too much yeah nah that's od <laughs> um but i don't even know what i'm doing here oh yeah no we're cutting that off so monday i'm gonna start you know getting a little better getting active eating better Drinking more water, all of that good stuff because we can't stay like this, bro. Nope, we cannot. I gotta take myself out of this little fun. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do my, to my hair, but while we're here, Shein sent me a few things and I cannot wait to show it to you guys. I don't know when it's gonna get here. I have to check my janky number, but shout out to Shein. Yeah, the real ones, they sent me this time some home products, and one of them is a robot, a robot for the house. Like, not the actual, like, Roomba, is that what it's called? But it's, like, a robot that, like, goes around the house. So, it's, like, home stuff. And I'm so excited to show y'all. And I'm going to do a video for that, too. But, yeah. Um, I don't know what to do to my hair. And let me text my friend. They also sent me a curling iron, which I'm very excited about. Because I remember I used to do my hair. Um, back when I moved here, I used to always curl my hair with this curling iron. And I don't know where the hell it is, but while we're on here i might as well do that to my hair i'm i'm just probably gonna add some curls and the one the one that uh 
Shein is gonna send me is the small one, which I'm happy about because I've been seeing on TikTok girls like doing the hair. I know it's gonna take forever on my hair. I'm very blessed. But um yeah, it's gonna take forever. But I wanna I used to love doing that. Like when I was pregnant with Jericho, a whole bunch of curls in my hair. I think one of my first videos was a video doing curls in my hair. I'm gonna see if I can try to find it. It was on another channel. It was one of my first videos and my hair was just like super voluminous with a whole bunch of curls. So I'm gonna see if I find my other curling wand so brb all right this is the curling wand that i had it is by i think this is helen of troy if i'm not mistaken i don't remember but i don't even know if it works let's see rmb rmb vibes Stay down, real nigga from the ad by the payout. Spending time wind down what it's take out. And when I'm in the walls, you feel it in your bones. I've been on the road, this choke that I hold on your soul got me making up for days out. Got you singing tones till you laid out. It feel like what we are never fade out. Fade out, fade out, fade out. I let it ride when I usually would have rolled out. Baby, say please and thank you cause your love will stay down. All right, you guys, so this is how my hair came out. I definitely need to get another one because shit was a little smoky in here. That other one is coming right on time. <laughs> but yeah, this is how my hair is looking. I'm gonna put that down there for now. And I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of gel on the side. I don't know, I feel like it needs to be like a little moment like this. I don't, I never really like. And the nails for today, I just had them. Did they fall? Hello. Oh no, they were here. Okay. Nails for today's. So let's go ahead and put these babies on. I don't even want to show you guys a close up of my actual nails. All right, you guys. I did my nails. Come over here, little boy. Oh, I told him to draw because I want him to continue and to practice so he could get better and better. Bad. And he's saying this is bad. Show them the picture, please. And I said it's so good. What? Like no, no. Comment down below so I can know that you guys made it to the end of this video because I'm almost done with this video. Please tell him that that like don't even like bruh. That is so good. I don't know what he's talking about. But anyways, I'm gonna end this vlog. This is my hair. These are the nails. I still don't know what I'm gonna wear, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you guys for listening to me just talk and. Yeah, like I always say, surround yourself with people who are good for you and for your heart, for your mind, for all of that. And you guys will see me later. Peace out. You don't care what you're doing to me. I've been down in the ruins so deep. All the games that you played, all the love you've forsaken, you left.